So in this video, I'm going to show you how to model visually adding and subtracting fractions. So here's our first example, 1 quarter plus 1 half. Now whenever you're going to add or subtract fractions and you're going to model it visually, you're going to draw one picture for each of the fractions. So I'm going to draw one picture here to represent 1 quarter. And I'm going to take this box and I'm going to divide it into four pieces because the denominator tells us how big our pieces are going to be and our numerator tells us how many of those pieces that we have. So I'm going to color in one of my boxes out of the four. And I'm going to add to that another fraction or another picture that represents one half. So here's my second box. Now remember the denominator tells us how big the pieces are going to be, so I'm going to divide this box into two pieces, and the numerator tells me how many of those pieces I get. I'm going to have one of them, so I'm going to color in this one over here. But my problem with these pieces is, look how little the quarter piece is. Compared to the half pieces, the half pieces are huge compared to the quarter pieces. So this is why we need a common denominator. We need to cut these so that they're in equal sizes. Well, here's what I know. 4 and 2. The common denominator for both of those is 4 because 2 can go into 4 and 4 can go into 4. So that means my first picture here is already divided into fourths. Well, my second picture over here isn't, so that means I need to take this picture over here and divide it into fourths. So, if I draw a little dotted line right here, wouldn't it then have, I would have both of these divided into quarters? I would, and that means over here, I would have two that are colored in, and over here, I have one. So my new picture, my final picture that represents these two things added together, here's my box. I'm going to divide it into fourths because that's the common denominator. And I'm going to count up how many do I have in all since we're adding because adding means to put together. So I have one from the first fraction and I have two and three from the second fraction. So two from here and one from here. So that means I'm going to color in a total of three of my boxes. There's one, here's two, and here's my third one. So now I visually have represented adding one quarter plus one half equaling three fourths because three out of my four in all are colored in. And there I have that visually represented. And if you wanted to, we could go over here and we could actually do the problem out the way that we traditionally do it. So one quarter plus one half. Now I said that we needed a common denominator of fourths, so the first fraction is going to stay the same. And my second fraction is going to be something over four. And I ask myself, two times what is four? Two times two is four. So if I'm going to multiply the denominator by two, I'm also going to multiply my numerator by two and that means 1 times 2 is 2. And now I'm going to add that the numerators together. 1 plus 2 is 3, and the denominator stays the same as fourths. So here I've shown you visually how to add, and over here I showed you the traditional way of how to add two fractions together. Notice that my answers end up being exactly the same. Let's try subtracting. It's going to work the same way. I'm going to draw one picture for each of my two fractions. So 3 fourths, I'm going to draw my box and I'm going to divide it into four pieces because remember the denominator tells me how many pieces and my num I mean how big the pieces are and my numerator is going to tell me how many. So my pieces are in fourths and I have three of them. So I'm going to color them in. Okay, minus, and in my second box over here, I'm going to have two pieces because that's what my denominator tells me. And I, we actually have one of them, so I'm going to color one of them in. Notice that whenever I'm drawing these, they're not perfect. I didn't get out a ruler. I didn't measure everything. It's a, it's a sketch. 
It's a visual model. So now instead of putting these two things together, we're going to take them apart. We're going to start with this much over here and we're going to take this much away. Notice again that our boxes aren't the same size, but I know that the common denominator for 4 and 2 is 4. So again, I'm going to draw that little dotted line here. And so now we can see visually that 1 half is actually equal to 2 fourths. Look at that. We have two pieces and they're both the size of the fourths. So if I start with three pieces over here, one, two, three, and I take these two away, if I take away one and if I take away two, won't I be left with this piece down here? So let's draw that as a new picture. So here's my answer. And the common denominator is four. And three minus one, I mean three minus two, is one. So that means the answer to 3 fourths minus 1 half is 1 fourth. And I can do that out the traditional way over here. The common denominator is going to be 4, so we're going to have 3 fourths minus something over 4. 2 times what is 4? 2 times 2 is 4. So if I have to multiply the denominator by 2, I'm also going to multiply the numerator by 2, and 2 times 2, I mean 1 times 2, is 2. And now we just subtract the numerators. 3 minus 2 is 1, and the denominator stays the same. So we got the same answer both visually and doing the problem out traditionally. So that's how you actually model subtracting fractions and adding fractions. You have to draw a picture for each of the fractions, and if you're adding, you're going to put the pieces together, and if you're subtracting, you're going to take the pieces away.